we will hear in the gospel text of today yet another incident where rules took precedence over human need for most of the people at the time of Jesus, but not for Jesus. There is a scene in today's gospel where Jesus is in a synagogue. In that synagogue, there are people who have come to hear God's word. And even as the people come to hear God's word, the religious authorities are watching Jesus. They are not concentrating on God, but they are concentrating on Jesus and possibly because they realize that Jesus is the manifestation of God. Be that as it may, along with the religious authorities, Jesus and others who have come to the synagogue to hear God's word, there is one man with a withered arm. The man is not at the point of death. The man has possibly lived with a withered arm for quite a long time. And that man is there and it is a holy day. It is the Sabbath on which work is not allowed. And those who keep the external rule, the religious authorities want to trap and catch Jesus if he heals a man on the Sabbath because it will be considered work. Before Jesus can reach out to the man, he asks the religious authorities a question. And the question is very, very pertinent when he says, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath? To save life or to destroy it? And the religious authorities are silent. Why is it that they cannot answer Jesus? Because they know that no matter which answer they choose, they are caught in a bind. They know that they cannot answer that question because even though they want to keep the rule, even though externally they want to indicate that they are men who are following the rule, internally they are not free. Jesus takes the silence of the religious authorities as manifestation of their ignorance, as manifestation of their arrogance, as manifestation of their wanting to trap him. And he asked the man with the withered arm to come and stand in the center of them all. With the word, Jesus heals the man to whom he says, stretch out your hand. And the man stretched out his hand and his hand was made whole. How often have we not done good to others? Have we not spoken a kind word because we are restricted in some way? Will you realize that no matter who the person might be, no matter what the situation might be, human need will always take precedence over any and every rule.